Hi, I'm Tom, and today we're going to turn this into a coffee maker. I had an old coffee maker laying around, and because I'm a little bit curious, I took it apart, and uh, I ended up with this. And that, that makes me thinking, so what if I took this and this and this I made a coffee machine out of it. Would it work? Well, it's actually only one way to find out. So today we're gonna try. Here it is, my Coffee Master 2000 with five cups capacity with a heating plate, water out the well blocker. Uh, with a beautiful black finish. Well, yeah, okay, it's just a simple coffee maker. Actually, a really cheap coffee maker. But surprisingly, surpri surprisingly, is that a word? Surprisingly? I don't know. Well, let's say it's a word. They all work the same way. You'll see what I mean in a few moments. Tearing it apart was actually really easy. It was mostly plastic, just clicked together, and uh, in the bottom, just hold together with a few screws. So, there you have it. This is all the parts that go into a coffee maker. And like I say, they all work the same way. The design may be different, they may look much cooler, more fancy, but in basic it all comes down to a heating element, some plastic tubing, and one tiny little important part. That small little plastic ball you see there, there it is. That little plastic ball, it's a thing that makes the whole coffee machine work. Let me explain how it works. Welcome to Tom's Science Class 101. This is a coffee maker. Yeah, I know, the drawing is really good. Well, but that's not the important part. The important part is that little well you see down there. When you fill up the machine with water, the little plastic ball will be pushed down and the water will flow freely into the machine. When the water heats up, the steam and the pressure will try to escape, but the hot water and the steam will then make the little plastic ball move up and block the well, forcing the water to go out in the other direction. And that's it. That little plastic ball is what makes a coffee machine work. Okay, enough science. Let's start building. I did start with laying out all the parts and then measuring up where they're gonna go. After that, it was a little bit of cutting, a little bit more measuring. And some marking and a little bit of drilling. And some more good work. And a little bit more. And there you go, finally finished. Okay, so I think it's time for a disclaimer here before moving on to the next part of uh, the video. Uh, I'm not an electrician, I'm not a professional in any way, and I'm pretty sure the next part is going to be a little bit dangerous. Uh, it's uh, electricity, it's water, and uh, I use copper uh, uh, piping that conducts uh, electricity really well. 
So if you don't know what you're doing, please don't try this at home. Okay, moving on. Okay, so now we just have to put it all together. Well, it looks like everything fits, so that should be easy. That actually took a long time. With a lot of fiddling. It's a good thing we can speed up the video. And cut off the boring parts. Now it was time to find out where to drill all the holes for the light, the switch and the tubes. Oh, and I just realized I forgot to make one important part. Don't worry, you will find out later what this part is. I did try to reuse as much of the wood that I could. I also made new parts of the old coffee machine that I could use. This was going to be the new water tank for the coffee machine. And there it is, the little magic ball. The little thing that makes it all work. And a little bit of testing to see if it fits. And then it's time to make some more assembly. The hot glue gun, the perfect weapon for a successful do-it-yourself project. Okay, so now everything is screwed or glued in place on the inside. It's now time to start on the outside. Everything seems to fit, so it's now time to glue it all together. And there it is, the part that I almost forgot to make. It wouldn't be much coffee without it. And there you have it, one homemade coffee machine. It looks lovely, doesn't it? But the big question is, does it work? Of course it does, and it even makes good coffee.
Okay, so what do you think? A fun way of reusing an old beat up uh, coffee maker or a waste of time? Uh, please let me know in the comments below. And if you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you don't like the video, well, share it with a friend.